Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm back here and uh, wanted to show you guys what I've accumulated over the, over the past month or so. So without any further ado, uh, I'll start with that. So I noticed in our uh, local e uh, well, email, our local newspaper there is an ad for someone selling comics. So I checked out the house and picked up some pretty good books. I've got Youngblood number one, which is the first appearance of Profit. I also was able to find Stars and Stripes, number zero and number one, the first, you know, two, uh, first two appearances of uh, Stargirl. Found nice, still got a bag and board it, but the Sensational She-Hulk, number one, in pretty good shape. And then was also able to find a Moon Knight copy uh, from the Moon Knight, uh, Moon Knight solo run, uh, Moon Knight number six. And I found two other issues that will actually be available in the upcoming uh, Three Men in a Basement and Pressville Defects uh, auction they're doing for such a great cause. And I'll leave that information in the descriptions as well. Um, speaking of Three Men in a Basement, I was able to you know take part in their recent uh, Three Men in a Basement live auction and got two lots from both Roger and Otto. So with Roger, I got the Amazing Spider-Man 410, which is for Spider Carnage. I remember this character from the animated show, and I've been always been looking for this book, and now I have it in my collection. Um, the Spider-Man Free Comic uh, Book Day. This had this was the launch of um, Absolute Carnage that came out last year. Really cool cover of Spider Verse number nine, The Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, I believe. The Amazing Spider-Man 289 is, and it says actually right there, uh, the idea of the Hobgoblin is revealed as Ned Leeds. Did a book I didn't have in my collection. Love collecting all the gob Goblin issues, so I thought this was a cool one. Yeah, and uh, the more the reason why, you know, I uh, wanted it, uh, wanted this uh, collection from Roger. Uh, next, uh, the last auction of the night was from Roger, and he had one book in there that um, classic cover didn't have it. Always wanted to have in my collection, and that's Iron Man 128, the Demon in the Bottle storyline. Always loved this cover. Always, you know, I've been, uh, I've lost out on eBay uh, auctions for this as well, so finally I have this in my collection. And then Roger, you know, as the bids were going, he threw in Defenders number 17, which is the first appearance of the Wrecking Crew. So some great books from Roger there. And then I also got, like I said, a lot from Otto. And then that was. FF245. This is a book you might want to keep an eye out for. Uh, everyone knows FF Annual 6 is first, not only appearance of Annihilus, but also young Franklin Richards. This is grown up Franklin Richards, so another book to keep an eye on. Uh, I'm a big uh, horror fan, especially uh, Marvel horror, and in the slot, Otto had Morgan the Mystics first appearance in Marvel Chillers number one. Uh, another key FF book. Uh, FF, I always forget this number, FF244, which is uh, First Appearance of Frankie Ray as Nova, Herald of Galactus. And another nice FF book I've been looking for for a while, and I was finally able to get it, which is 211, the First Appearance of Terex the Tamer, another uh, Herald of Galactus. And Otto also threw in a um, trade paperback, the uh, Deadpool one, which I didn't own. And it is uh, Marvel Now, more uh, Deadpool. Um, and it collects Deadpools uh, from the initial run, one through six. Haven't read these yet and didn't own these, so looking forward to check that out. Um, also, uh, have some hauls from a local comic convention, uh, CliffsCon. I uh, got some really nice books there. And got The Astonishing Tales number 8, which is Kazar and Dr. Doom. Doom books are hot right now. And this is the first appearance of, uh, I believe, Cynthia Doom. So another Doom book I didn't have. Love the cover with him and Kazar on it. So I picked that up. Um, going back to the Marvel horror, uh, if you uh, say, if you look on my Instagram, I actually just posted this uh, for first appearance Friday. This is Tomb of Dracula number 45. This is the first appearance of Deacon Frost. Um, bring on the horror. So I got uh, also World by Night number 13. This is the first appearance of Topaz. 
Another nice World by Night cover, number 19, with him and Dracula on it. And then I found another cool Marvel Creatures on the Loose, which is number 17. Just thought this was a cool cover. Uh, Tomb of Dracula, number 58. A nice cover with Blade on there. And uh, Chamber of Darkness, uh, number 7. I know these are reprints, but the covers are new. And this is an awesome uh, Steve Ditko cover right here. And going back to FF, saw one of these, another one, picked it up. Uh, another book, it's really hard to find in great condition, and I'm happy, you know, I finally have it in my collection. It's Submariner number eight, the classic cover with him going against uh, Ben Grimm. And then lastly, uh, a book that's one of the hottest books over the last year, year and a half, is What If Number 10, which is technically you know the first time Jane Foster takes on the mantle of Thor uh, got a great price on this it's not the greatest condition there's a uh, color breaking crease uh, right there but still this book's hot it's an awesome book to have in the collection um, then I have a few uh, LCS pickups uh, Snyder Cut just coming out we got Dark Side I got Superman uh, the crossover with the Legends, Chapter 17. Love that cover with Dark Side on there. Uh, more Doom. Uh, Doctor Doom and Magneto, Supervillain team up. And that is number 14. Nice yellow cover with Doom and then all the heroes, you know, around and bowing to him. Sticking with some more uh, the local uh, LCS pickups. Got Superpowers number one. Love that cover with Lex, the Joker. Brainiac and Penguin on there. Um, in Otto's Lot, I had one uh, Marvel Trailers number one, the first Mordrick Mystic. Then the following week at my LCS, I found Marvel Trailers number two, another awesome Marvel horror book. And then the last LCS pickup on the show off was uh, Doctor Doom and Red Skull, Super Villain Team Up number 15. Awesome cover at Doom and Skull right there. Next, I'm uh, going to go with some eBay purchases. Um, Avengers 92, I've always loved this cover and haven't had it in the collection yet. Always been looking for it, so I was able to find it for a great price on eBay. Uh, just love the colors and the characters you have on this cover. Um, next, uh, with Daredevil, you know, spec starting to heat up now. Picked up a few Daredevil issues. Uh, Daredevil number 42, his first appearance of the Jester. And Daredevil number 90, which is first appearance of Mr. Fear, I believe. Um, might as well jump on these Daredevil books now before they get unattainable. Um, which one do I want to show next? Uh, I'll go with another horror uh, one, and one I've been looking for for a very long time and was able to find a pretty good copy on eBay. This is World by Night 33, the second appearance of Moon Knight, and I just love this cover of the two of them battling uh, from the helicopter uh, ladder. Then uh, Avengers 186, talk about horror, talk about spec, this is the first appearance of Cthan. Uh, this and a few of these other of these books I've shown have been specced on Lords of Long Boxes, Three Men in the Basement, and the Principal Defects, so happy to have this book in the collection as well. And then the last eBay purchase. Actually, there's one more. There's one more coming up. But uh, as you may or may not know, I've been working on the FF run. I know some of those uh, earlier books are going to be harder to get. But this is one I'm really happy I can say is now in the collection. The condition a little low, but still the, these early FF, FF books you can't beat. And without uh, me looking at it any further, FF 18. This is the first appearance of Super Scroll. You have a feeling he's coming either in Secret Invasion, Captain Marvel 2, uh, FF, who knows, but a character like this, we've seen the scrolls already, so finally able to get this in the collection. Uh, next, uh, did a purchase with uh, ERA 212 and kind of blew the lead right there, so I uh, was able to pick up the first Silver Age parents. I believe it's 
It's the first appearance in general of Poison Ivy as well. Been working on the Batman uh, Silver Age first appearances, and uh, this is one now I have in the collection. Erad's always great uh, when it comes to transactions. Talking with him uh, through IG, got a good deal on this. Packaged very well, and got here very fast. Awesome book. Thank you, Erad. So, there's three more books. Three more books. Uh, Kind of sticking with the horror theme. This was um, both one was an eBay and one was uh, LCS buy. And I, in my first haul video, I talked about how Marvel, you know, after the Fox deal, has the rights to both Alien and Predator. So I've been trying to find some of those early Dark Horse books. And at my LCS, I saw this cover, and it is the first time Alien and Predator. Uh, face off against one another and I found out there were two covers to it so this is one and then on eBay I was able to find the other one slabbed in a 9.6 both awesome covers really can't you know wait to see uh, where Marvel, Marvel decides to go with these two characters uh, I know Marvel in the comics just launched Alien number one uh, been meaning to check that out and you know you would think Predators only come in soon after so able to add these two horror sci-fi marvel books into the collection last but not least definitely not least uh talking about the ff run um i've had the worst luck doing comic book uh auctions or uh, raffles on ebay on instagram and i finally struck gold it's a huge grail and now it is in the collection and it is ff 49 first full Galactus first uh, full Silver Surfer I'm probably messing that up yes first full Galactus second appearance of the Silver Surfer that's right he appears in 48 and just classic Jack Kirby cover one of my favorite all-time story arcs in the comics and now I have this you know in my collection part of the FF run one of my all-time favorite once again story arcs covers uh, my all-time favorite comic book team, and I finally had this in the collection. Uh, and that's it. I uh, want to thank everyone who's liked, commented, subscribed, shared my videos, uh, reached out, I've gotten some great uh, advice and feedback from a lot of people in the community. So I do want to thank everyone for all of that, and keep on doing it. Keep on subbing, keep on commenting, liking, uh, sharing. Love talking with the community. It's a community that has a bunch of great people in there and it's been now i've said this several times the highlight of the pandemic getting more involved in the community meeting a lot of the people checking out all these youtube channels it's been great so thank you everyone uh in the description i will have the links to a lot of those great channels and uh the uh the uh charity auction that both uh, the principal defects and uh, three men in the basement the auction they're putting together i'll put that information in there as well and everyone take it easy and enjoy peace guys